All right, remember when you are writing these problems out, I want you to write this string. You can use your entire board, but your problems need to be in a row and you can use your extra space for ways to solve the problem. I know some of us can solve it in our head. Some of us like to draw pictures. Some of us like to draw tally marks to add it up. That's fine and you can write that on your board, but I want the problems to be in a row. If your problem took up your entire whiteboard, I need you to erase it and rewrite it so that you can have the entire number string on your whiteboard today. Here we go, next problem. Here we go, here's our next number set string. Hmm. Since you guys are telling me that you use your doubles to solve eight plus seven and eight plus nine, let's see if that same pattern and same strategy can work on this last problem. We're doing an assignment called desk arrangements. To start off our problem today, you need to choose one of these problem solving strategies to solve the problem today. At the end of your assignment, you are going to write in a complete sentence what problem, what problem solving strategy you used to help solve this problem. So know that ahead of time, you're only choosing one, but you need to write about it at the end of the work today. This is what you're going to do. Mrs. Evans wants to put the desks in her classroom in rows. So a row goes across. She wants to organize them so there are the same number of desks in each row. This one has the green check mark because they all, each row has the same amount of desks. This example has the red uh, X because you'll notice that one row does not have as many desks as another row and one row has more desks than the other row. That's not what she's looking for in this problem. She wants them to have the same number in each row. If she has 20 kids in her class, what are all the different ways she could organize the desks into rows? And how many ways can you find to solve this problem? All right, this is what you guys get to do. Here's that problem from the directions. If Mrs. Evans has 20 kids in her class, what are the different ways she could organize her desks into rows? How many ways did you find? What I want you to do is to show all the different ways you've solved this problem. You are going to show me more than one way. Now, if this is a little tricky for right now, just drawing things out for you, that's fine. On slide two, there's the hint and it actually, whoops, I'm coloring. But this slide is actually designed so you can move the counters and solve the problem. Again, you're looking for how many different ways you can solve this problem. Slide three is a different way to help. Can you use the graph paper to draw all the different ways to solve a problem with 20 kids in her class? Slide four is a challenge. If Mrs. Evans had 21 kids in her class, would there be more ways to put the desks or less ways? Why do you think that is? 
So this is a two part problem. One, would there be more ways or less ways? Two, explain your thinking. Why do you think there are more ways or why do you think there are less ways? Show your thinking, try it out. And the fifth slide, remember I told you at the beginning you had to choose a strategy? This one you're gonna tell me, which strategy did you choose today? And you need to write your answer in a complete sentence. This is what I mean by writing it in a complete sentence. You cannot just say, number two, nope, not happening. A complete sentence is, I chose to use mathematicians use tools. There we go, complete sentence. And you know what, guys? It's listed right here. So I was able to just spell it correctly because it's on my page.